All right, we're here at Ubisoft Stitchy Days 2013 in a very, well, it's actually a much bigger environment. It just looks really cozy here because we'll find a corner which is quite quiet. Joined by Martin and Andrew here, guys. Thank you very much indeed for, well, joining me and, well, each other in this fine, fine establishment. We're just going to roughly go over um, sort of a few of the games, basically, and we're going to pick out personal highlights. And I'll start with myself because, hell, I have the camera and the microphone on me. It's brilliant. Um, I'm going to start with... Um, Actually, to begin with, I know you weren't a huge, huge fan of the Gamescom uh, build you played, but I, we had a go on Watch Dogs, the uh, companion app. I thought it was quite clever and quite smart and quite enjoyable, that idea of, okay, I'm on a bus on the way home, I flag up my app, free to download, as they're always saying, and friends playing, and I can really fuck about on his game. And I like that idea. Was that you, you, I mean, you played it, you thought it was all right, though. Yeah, uh, I can definitely see the potential in it, but I, like, I, I, like I said earlier on, I really, I, I, need, I need to get some more hands-on time with it. Like, maybe, like, maybe uh, play it a little bit more than two rounds yeah, that's I, I, before I, I'll make a final judgment on it, but uh, it looks promising. Promising is the word I use for Child of Light, I'm going to congratulate myself because I didn't say Child of Eden there, which I've been saying all morning. Not the sequel to Child of Eden, not that. Child of Light is a gorgeous 2D platformer stroke uh, action RPG that uh, the, the makers of actually reference Chrono Trigger and uh, Final Fantasy VI basically for art style and story. And it's more like a sort of grim fairy tale. It's using the same engine that Rayman uses, which is the Ubi Art Framework engine. Did I get that right? I got that right, yeah. okay, okay. And this, yeah, beautiful painted, handcrafted, sort of like fairy tale setting, um, turn-based combat with a very interesting sort of strategy. Even very early on, we played like a little 10 minute demo of one of the dungeons, incredibly hard final boss. The guys who said they're tweaking that, but um, it may be the game of the show at the moment for myself. But using that same artwork, that same art engine, is another game, Valiant Hearts, which you took a look at, yeah? Yeah, I saw Valiant Hearts, uh, uh, Valiant Hearts uh, The Great War, which is uh, quite a nice uh, ch uh, pace, uh, change of pace to m so many uh, modern day and uh, the Second World War uh, shooters and, and games. And this, like the name says, it's uh, uh, happens at uh, uh, the First World War, and it was really a uh, very nice uh, cartoony feeling, like, uh, like a, almost like a graphic novel. Mm. And, and, I, and even, even the first, uh, first bits of in, the, in the trailer gave out a sense of, okay, now we are going to uh, focus on the narrative. And, and it's uh, like, for, for me, that I'm tr uh, getting a little bit too used to like, uh, all the action and the violence, so I'm really happy to get uh, to see a game that I isn't uh, all just shooting up people. It's about the story. That that that, that looked really nice to me. That's the interesting thing about th this event because it is obviously focused on digital, but we're seeing very unique titles as well. We're not seeing just yeah, like you said, the traditional sugar. Sure, Watch Dogs is here, Cruise here, but we're seeing all like um, yeah, Child of Light and stuff like that. But um, Martin, for you, particular favorite of the show. Um, I can't say particular favor. I've seen uh, two games from Ubisoft bring to iOS and Android. It's uh, Wayman Fiesta Run. Fiesta Run, yes, oh, yeah. Fiesta Run, um, which is uh, a pretty straightforward uh, successor of the Wayman Jungle Run. And um, there are new levels. The Ice Level, for example, is now part of the game, which you know from Wayman Origins. It's looking very good. Um, the same goes for Wabbit's Bing Bang, which is more like a mini game, uh, which reminds a bit on uh, Angry Birds uh, Space. You have uh, these small rabbits and you have to uh, send them into space and collect some stuff and you have to play with gravity, that's a big part of the game. And the later levels are really, really interesting. I just got two problems, uh, one problem with the two games. And um, in both games you have an in-game QNC, mm. and this in-game QNC you can um, use for uh, making the game easier to cheat a bit, um, to make it have more li more lives or to get stuff earlier and stuff like that. You can get this QNC by playing the game, but you can buy it too. And that's so it's for me it feels a little bit like like Plants vs Zombies Zombies 2, which I had problems with two and so I'm a bit curious how it feels when I play the role game but 
at least you don't have to buy it. That's a good part of it. You have, you have that choice to sort of yeah, hold yeah. back. Yeah, yeah. You, really, you really have the choice. That's a choice. That's a good part, yeah. Okay, well, guys, do you think Digi Days 2013, yay, yay or yay? What do you think? I think a positive surprise, like t uh, like a couple of uh, really interesting indie-esque games, yeah. and uh, yeah, something to look forward from Ubisoft yet again. I mean, too, and um, Ubisoft has some free-to-play games and browser games here too, but they say they they show that they have a a, a, um, a lineup which is filled is, has something to offer for everyone. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. Right. For myself, try. <laughs> Well, you know what? I'm trying to do this beautiful <laughs> ending point of this bloody um, update, and our cameraman screams at the game that he's been playing at all day. Yes, Nick, Trials Frontier, which is what we're going to go off and play now. It's Trials on iOS, and it feels great. I'm a way to put a bet on that I can actually beat my cameraman, which I will, but I may update you on the blog later on. But from us here in Paris, France, thanks for joining us. <laughs>